a poster family for diversity. Licking through the new website of the private school my three children attend, I landed on a close-up photo of my oldest child's smiling face. I shouldn't have felt jarred, but I did. The picture, accompanied by a short interview highlighting everything she loves about the school, had been posted on the admissions page. Born in India and adopted by my husband and me, who are white, she's a minority student at a majority white school that's striving to become more diverse. Her interview was one of many, but for me, her mother, it generated a spotlight's heat. My older daughter is 14. Our son and younger daughter, siblings born in Ethiopia, are 13 and 12. When the children were small, strangers often mistook them for adorable, boisterous triplets. The kids' friendly smiles and our family's multicultural makeup ensured that we attracted attention everywhere we went. More than once, professional photographers stopped us on the street to propose a photo shoot. Religious strangers felt compelled to thank my husband and me for loving the Lord and loving orphans. Shoppers in a grocery store flagged me down to gush, your family is beautiful. The idea of us made a lot of people feel good, hopeful even, but I quickly grasped that we could also be perceived by some as a kind of entertaining novelty. For years, another mom at our elementary school referred to me, in public and private, as Angelina Jolie. I did my best to shield the kids, and myself, from the attention, so that our family could be just that, a family, not a symbol of post-racial equality or evidence of a supposed Hollywood trend, a trend some critics characterized as white celebrities adopting black babies as fashion accessories. By virtue of their white parents, transracial adoptees often move in majority white spaces, inadvertently providing diversity for others. Although I've always tried to place my kids in environments where they encounter peers and role models of the same race, they inevitably end up in the minority at school, at camps, in enrichment classes and on sports teams. Early on I noticed how schools and kids programs love to feature children of color in their marketing materials to highlight their commitment to diversity, just as the big corporations do. As much as I wanted pictures of my three to entice more minority children to join my children in their activities, I couldn't bring myself to sign the blanket photo releases that came with every registration packet. I didn't want my children being used to promote an ideal of diversity that didn't exist in reality, reality.